Welcome back, Warriors. Back with another episode of Bigger Warriors 2. I hope you guys are doing well. Having a, uh, a great morning so far. I wanted to do this one before I headed out. And uh, interesting questions and comments um, that I've received, uh, more by word of mouth than anything else, that uh, about this idea of a simp. Now, a simp is not a term that I grew up with, but I think it's a term that is pretty prevalent in a lot of the types of things that I see. And from what I understand, <clears throat> simp is this person who is kind of used a lot and other people take advantage of and really doesn't really kind of get things that they want out of the deal, the relationships, things like that. So let's talk about this simp a little bit. And the topic of this one is stop being a simp. And this is important um, one to kind of look at. So first of all, go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment. <clears throat> I take a lot of issues that we talk about now uh, from comments and uh, and different type of perspectives you may have and things um, that, from, especially from the younger people who are experiencing a lot of different things than I experienced. You know, when I was uh, what you, your, your age is the 20s, 30s, and 40s. And so I want to kind of comment on those things and at least give it from my perspective of things that I see. All right, so um, the idea of a simp is a person that's it's just kind of is being used by people, not really getting a lot out of it, and a lot of the reasons is because that person is desperate. Uh, they have a low self-esteem, a low self-confidence in themselves, and I've talked about this in my classes for years. A lot of your self-concept comes from the perception you have from inside of yourself, and uh, you you attract those people around you who kind of reinforce, good or bad, that idea about yourself. So if you like yourself, you're going to have people around you that are going to like you, and they're going to be liking themselves as well. Just like if you're, you're going to be successful, you're hanging around people that are successful, you kind of observe those behaviors in your mind, you start thinking, I can do this as well. And I think that's a good opportunity to then become successful. It, as long as you obviously go ahead and continue you know, keeping that attitude and doing those behaviors that actually will get you success. On the opposite end of it, if you're at a point where you don't like yourself, subconsciously you're going to find people that are going to hang around you that also don't like you. And those are the types of people that are going to reinforce the same viewpoint. I call it the misery loves company group. Those people will just continue to complain because it builds up each one's ego because of the attention. And people want attention. This is the key. And you'll see this especially uh, in relationships, males with females. They want your attention. And those energy suckers will come and get your attention one way or the other. And the idea you want to do is you don't want to go ahead and put you in a position where you're, no, you're not having a goals or any kind of plan because if you don't have a plan on goals, you're more susceptible to the simping behavior. Because now you're kind of in a desperate stage, you want attention from people, you want people to like you, and now you're willing to kind of put yourself in positions that you can do this. And this is the kind of thing that sucks your energy. Whether it's a vampire sucking your emotional energy, whether it's the physical part of it from a succubus, those type of things will get you because you're acting more like a simp. Now, if you're in a case where you know, you're getting something out of this that's long-term beneficial towards your goals, like having a child, and you're married, or you're in a relationship where this is going to be a long-term type of thing, well, that's a little different type of situation, and you know, that's your judgment to make, of course. But the thing is, you don't want to be a, a person who is just kind of being played all the time. And you give me some examples of this very easily. You know, We've had a, a couple of... Um, People commenting on you know having girlfriends and and them cheating and those type of things and I'm gonna tell you this right away you're not gonna be able to avoid that if you catch the person doing that it's very difficult for that person to break a habit and nowadays from what I understand what I understand is a lot of people are having multiple partners and to me that's just a real bad idea you know from both male and, per and a female perspective but the idea that you have a person who has multiple partners who have had multiple partners um, really kind of uh, makes it a real tough situation because once again it's a habit, an attitude that person has formed and they get attention that way one way or the other and so for you to believe that's not going to happen uh, I think that you're just kind of you're kind of wishing for something that probably will not happen 
because I think you're going to find the person doing it. So if you find a person cheating, my recommendation is to move on. To move on and say, let's move on. Now, nowadays, realize that guys, especially in the courts of laws and things that we have, it's very difficult and uh, in in put in a bad position. But you have to do the best you can with it because you're going to find out that people are not always going to be honest. Once again, they're energy suckers. They want something from you and they're going to get that. And if it's not a mutual type of thing, you kind of put yourself out there as being one of these, these simp people who just kind of do things for other people. The other way you do that, obviously, is just paying money for pictures and things like that. Do not give money, guys, to people. Unless, you're, unless it's following your purpose. If you're doing it, for instance, you're doing it for an investment, okay? You're doing it to get something back that you want in the long run. That's a lot of different situation. You're getting something in return. There's costs and benefits. If you're doing something and all you're getting is attention and you're getting continually played and you feel bad about this, well, then you know something's wrong. And so obviously, you know, releasing and all this energy you're using to do to look at pictures. These people are making tons of money on these pictures. I, I see these videos every so often. It's, it's just amazing to me how much money they're talking about they're making on these type of things. And I think you have to kind of think about what this really is. It's an image. It's not really reality. And I think if you want to find someone, in, in, uh, in this case a female, you, and, and have reality with her, that's a whole different story. Even that's even better than the images. Now certainly I don't believe in releasing any point, but you really want to make sure that you focus on this and understand this. So that you know that for sure that you know, you're doing this because it's part of your goals. Because it's something that you really want to focus on. So again, the idea of being a simp just will destroy you. It's time to stop being a simp. It's time to move on and kind of achieve your goals and do not let other people control you. Do not give money to people unless you know for sure it's something that you can get something better in the background in the, in the, in the, uh, in the long run. It's got to be a cost reward type of thing. Too many people in relationships that they have a lot of cost, they're giving a lot up and they're not getting a lot of rewards back. And those are the types of things you have to avoid. And, that, and that's why I think a lot of people complain about the beta male and people who are in these simp type categories because they're kind of selling themselves out. And my, my world, my old world that I'm in, uh, you, you don't do that. I, I don't think in this new world you do that either, right? And some younger people know what I'm talking about. So if you have someone cheating on you, if you have somebody who's not treating you well, it's time to foot, put the foot down. I don't care how good they look, my friends. In the long run, you got that baggage. And when you're talking about people who have psychological baggage, I think if you have people who have high body counts, what they tell me, and that's the word they use, right? High, high body counts. And if they have people they've had sex with over and over and over again, there's bound to be some psychological problems there. And this is males and females. But the idea is that you want to avoid those T people, like the plague. Avoid them. Because the idea, guys, is that you want to make sure you find people that are going to help you. And, um, you know, the way we look at society, that may, be, that may not be a lot of people. But the bottom line is that if you're on a Pramacharya journey, like I am, and a lot of other people are, you're becoming stronger. And you're becoming a lot more self-controlled. And so now you can make those choices and not have to be phased by... A person walking down the street or a person walking in a seductive pose or something like that, you're able to say no. Now, what's that going to do? Well, certainly, that's going to get the person to sometimes be, look at you as a challenge. They're going to even look at you as a more of a challenge, right? They're going to come after you and they're going to be begging for you, right? And that's happened. But the thing is, is that you have to still say no. Unless, of course... You want a, a relationship with this person, and that's going to be your only person for a while, and that's the person that's going to eventually have children with and things like that. That may be a different decision, but beware. You have energy that's going to, you're going to continue to lose every time you do this. So once you start losing that energy, then you become less attractive again. Right? This is the kind of the, the ironic type of thing about uh, brahmacharya and retention, that you become more attractive but you can't lose your energy. Now, you can still obviously have intercourse and not lose your energy, but that's a whole other issue, right? And that's, that that's takes a lot of, that even takes even more self-discipline, more self-control. 
it can be done. And if you can do that, well then obviously you can have some of the best of both worlds. But once again, the more body count you have, the harder it is on you, in my opinion, to kind of focus on treating that person as an individual and not just another object. And certainly the images you see on you know, internet, TV, all these things, they don't help at all. Because what they're doing is creating this image that this person is an object and not really somebody who you're gonna have a relationship with and treat as a person. The key thing that happens is that as you become stronger in this, now you treat that person as an individual. And now you can say no, just like you would do with any friend, that you don't wanna do something. This person is not so attractive that you're sucked in to the point where you're giving money for a picture, or seeing them wearing a certain outfit, or you're, you're seeing them uh, in person and all of a sudden they're trying to persuade you. Those things don't happen because now you're sitting there and uh, having a lot of self-control. And I think that's the whole key to the whole issue. Having the self-control and gives you more strength. So now you're not saying no. I mean, you're, you're not saying yes. You're saying no to situations that's going to kind of put you in a, in a bind, put you in a tough situation. So as you do this more and more, and especially those who are longer on this type of journey, you'll kind of know what I'm, I'm saying and, and feeling. Because the whole idea is, is that you're going to get stronger, so some of this is going to be less important. And certainly as you get older and, and my age, you're now transferring and transmuting a lot of this energy into something else, and you're becoming a lot more stronger that way and less dependent on those type of needs, especially short-term types of needs. And so, But as you're younger, it's a real battle. And I know I faced that battle for many years. So I think that you have to kind of look at this and say, okay, I need to stop being this simp. If I know I am being a simp, then you know you're in trouble. And so if you know you're not getting something out of it and you're chasing people, don't chase people. Don't just send them money, especially don't send money to people with pictures and all that kind of stuff. It just doesn't, it doesn't look good. It doesn't feel good. You know it doesn't feel good. And what are you getting out of it? Nothing. So I guess the thing you have to kind of look at is, where is your plan, what, where you're trying to head, and focus on that, and don't focus on being a simp. So don't be a simp. All right, till next guys, next time. Subscribe, like, comment if you like what we're doing, and we'll see you next time. Battle on.